Aircraft Noise Basics Part 2 – Efforts Underway to Reduce Aircraft Noise In consideration for the airport's neighbors, the Metropolitan Airports Commission, or the MAC, continually works with others to keep aircraft noise impacts as low as possible. There are a few different ways that aircraft noise is being reduced across the United States and right here at home. The first is to reduce noise at the source, which means quieter aircraft. All aircraft operating within the United States, including at MSP International Airport, must meet Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, noise standards. Those standards have changed over time as engine and airframe design and technology have advanced. And the FAA has worked to establish even more stringent requirements, called Stage 5. Aircraft that meet the current standard are allowed to operate until the aircraft owner, such as an airline, retires them. Significant retirements have already occurred. For example, Delta Airlines, the airline operating the most flights at MSP, used to fly many DC-9s in and out of MSP. DC-9s were 1970s era aircraft. The last DC-9 flight by Delta occurred in January 2014. Delta is now using more modern planes with quieter, more fuel-efficient engines. Other airlines that serve MSP have also upgraded their fleets in recent years, a trend that will continue into the future. The second strategy for reducing aircraft noise impacts involves land use planning and management. This can involve working with surrounding cities to require certain building standards or it may involve preventing the construction of certain types of structures from being built within noise-impacted areas. Some homes and schools, which are considered noise-sensitive, have undergone structural modifications to block out noise. Those modifications can include reconditioning or replacing windows, installing central air conditioning to allow windows to be closed in the summer, and adding insulation and other sound buffering materials. Since 1992, the MAC has modified more than 18,000 homes and 18 schools in neighborhoods around MSP at the cost of almost a half billion dollars as part of its noise mitigation program. The MAC's long history of residential upgrades continues, with the MAC offering mitigation to additional homes around MSP as they become eligible for the program. A third method of noise reduction involves changes in aircraft operations, both in the air and on the ground. The MAC has worked with the FAA to implement noise abatement procedures at each of its airports, including 11 separate procedures at MSP alone. One example involves overflying industrial and commercial areas of Egan and Mendota Heights. When weather and other conditions allow, the FAA's air traffic controllers make an effort to direct as many flights as possible over those properties, away from residential areas. Also, when possible, air traffic controllers use runway selection criteria that prioritizes runways for departures and arrivals in a way that minimizes noise exposure for residential areas. The MAC also collects data and monitors the use of several noise abatement procedures. On a monthly basis, MSP operations reports are shared with the MSP Noise Oversight Committee, the FAA, and the public. Reports can be found on the MAC's website. Please visit macnoise.com.